We're back. What a great panel. So, in the last hour, you've heard all the speakers explain what the Velocity Network is, why the leading organizations in the HR industry are embracing verifiable credentials, and what's in it for you as leading healthcare services organizations. I'm wondering what your thoughts are at this point. Over the last two years, I've had hundreds of conversations with companies in the HR tech and HR services space, as well as large employers like yourselves. Based on these conversations, I can quite confidently say that at this point in our event, after hearing all the speakers, you probably have a pretty good comprehension of what we're doing at Velocity, and most of you likely fall into one of three categories. The first category I call the disbelievers. Those of you who are now thinking, it's an interesting concept, but it won't fly. Companies will not give their data to individuals. Individuals don't want to manage their career data in the digital wallet. Blockchain technology is too dangerous. You know, those kinds of thoughts. The second category is the late adopters. Those of you who are now thinking, this is really cool. I like it. I can see how this is going to change the world eventually. Call me in two or three years when there's lots of people with credentials and plenty of other hospital networks and healthcare providers who have adopted this, and I'll be happy to consider joining at that point. And then there are the people in the third category, the innovators, the trailblazers. Those of you who are now thinking, this is amazing, and the world needs this, my organization needs this, and as individuals, including myself, we need this. I want to be part of bringing this to life now. Where do I sign up and how do I start? Those who invited you to this event believe that you're probably the type of person who's likely to fall into the third category. If you're in category one or two, thank you for attending our event and we'll be happy to connect with you in a year or two. The rest of my session is targeted at those of you who are excited about being part of a movement that will change the world of work and are asking, what can we do now to engage and be part of bringing the Internet of Careers to life? Driving innovation and bringing about change of this magnitude requires a movement. Welcome to our movement. Success in unleashing the Internet of Careers will come from a partnership, a collaboration of three parties. Yourselves, the largest and most innovative hospital networks and healthcare providers, the Velocity Foundation members, your vendors and partners representing the HR industry, software providers, service providers, advisory firms, and of course the Velocity Network Foundation itself. At the Velocity Network Foundation, we are responsible for building the network. We must ensure that it's private, that it's secure, that it's governed responsibly, and that it complies to all relevant global, national, and state regulations. We must provide you with all the necessary information you require in a transparent way to ensure that you can completely trust the network and any applications and solutions built on top of it. The members of the foundation are responsible for integrating the Velocity Network into their products and services in a way that serves you and provides value to your organization. They will be making these new services and functionalities available to you in the same way they roll out other innovations to you making it simple and seamless for you to enjoy the benefits of verifiable credentials without significant investment or disruption. But where do you come in? What can you do to join the movement and be one of the first to benefit from its value? Here are six immediate things you should do following this event to join the movement and connect your organization to the Internet of Careers. Number one. Take the time to learn more about blockchain, verifiable credentials, and the Velocity Network, and educate others in your organization. There are tons of resources available on the internet, including on the Velocity Network Foundation's website. This isn't rocket science. It's not quantum computing or voodoo magic. There is no reason for you not to understand this new world in a way that you can feel confident and comfortable to introduce it to your organization. Number two. Join the Velocity Network Foundation online participant community. Here, you will find all the information you need about the foundation, its governance, compliance, security. You can interact with us at the foundation, but probably more importantly, interact with others in the healthcare industry who are also getting engaged in this initiative. Number three, stay updated. 
Sign up to receive the Velocity Network Foundation monthly newsletters. We will keep you updated on the launch of Mainnet, the joining of new Foundation members, the engagement of major employers like yourselves, and progress with adoption and so much more. The next three things you can do relate to engaging with your partners. As you heard in the panel earlier, the members of the Foundation are ready and waiting eagerly to engage with you and work together and co-innovate with you to design and roll out solutions based on verifiable credentials and the Velocity Network in a way that will provide maximum value and help you address your most burning issues. Number four, check which of the current vendors and suppliers are already members of the Velocity Network Foundation. We are adding new members on a weekly basis, and even since creating this slide a few days ago, three new members have joined, Recruit RGF, Enlet, and Validated ID. Number five, engage with your vendors and partners who are members of the Velocity Network Foundation. Each of them is ready with a plan for the next few months to work with you and are excited to get your feedback and roll out solutions with you as innovation partners. And number six, tell your vendors and partners that are not yet members of the Velocity Foundation that you're interested in this topic and would like to explore this with them. Many of them are already considering joining the Velocity Network and will be excited to learn that you would like to engage with them on this. Some are just waiting for validation from the market that it's ready for innovation and a call or a nudge from you as a leader in the industry will convince them that this is the right time to get going. As Jim Owens, the CEO of Sisive said earlier, we need to move beyond incremental improvements. There is a better way. Velocity is happening. Now, we invite you to take an active role in bringing on the future and being the first organizations to benefit from it. With that, our main event is now concluded, but this is just the first step on what I hope will be a wonderful journey together. In the next hour, please join the Velocity Foundation members, your partners, at their virtual booths in the exhibition hall. This is a great opportunity to share your initial thoughts following the event and agree with each of them on how you would like to take the next steps forward together. In the next few days, you'll be receiving a short survey from the Velocity Network Foundation. We would love to receive your feedback and thoughts. And through this survey, have you sign up to the community and the newsletter that I mentioned earlier. Thank you for joining us today. And we look forward to working together as we bring the Internet of Careers to life together.